What's up everyone? Tonight I am making manicotti, guys. Um, I already threw the box in the garbage. I got the noodles um, cooking. I don't know if you guys have ever made manicotti, but I'm making it. I don't, I'm not putting meat in it. I'm just using ricotta cheese. Actually, I already cut that. Um, I'm going to mix all that up in a bowl. Ricotta cheese. I'm going to throw an egg in there and a bunch of seasonings that I have out here. I'm going to use some Parmesan cheese. And um, I'm going to mix that up really good while the noodles are cooking. And then I'm going to um, stuff the noodles. Now, if any of you have ever made this, you know how hard it is to stuff the noodles. <laughs> I might try putting it in a bag and squeezing it in the, in the noodle. Because the noodles are about this long and they're round. Um, I do have some spaghetti sauce. So we're going to be using this. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to mix this up, show you guys how to get everything mixed. I got a really large um, ricotta cheese. It is, let me see how big it is. It is 32 ounces. I am actually going to use it all um, because I'm making a whole bunch of manicotti. But if you don't make that many, you know, if you're just making for one person, you can, you can definitely um, not use all that. All right, so... Try to get that off there. There we go. Because I re recycle these, guys. Um, if I don't reuse them in the kitchen, I slice them up and I use them as tag labels for, um, you know, I slice it and then write on it like tag labels for the plants. Now, here's the manicotti, manicotti noodles that I got. And this is what we're going to have. Egg in there, mix that up really, really good. Now, eggshells are wonderful for your garden, guys. So you can throw them right back in here, and when the carton's gone, you'll have a carton full of empty eggshells, and they are really good for the garden. So um, save your eggshells. Send them to me. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. But save them for your garden because you can crunch them up and go put them around your flowers or around your vegetables. And um, it's good calcium for your vegetables. All right, guys. So we are going to put some pepper. And use what you like. We're going to put a little bit of salt. I wanted a bunch of garlic salt, but we don't have much garlic salt. This is garlic salt. This is all we have left. We didn't have any garlic powder. Because um, this will make it good. So garlic powder, what's this? Oh, a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of onion powder. You know, I might have enough for a couple of times. Just gonna season it up really good. This is parsley. Is it parsley or oregano? It's parsley. And then um, some smoked paprika. Ooh, well, that came out quick. Very quick. Darn. Alright, so, and then I'm just going to mix it all up. Mix it all together. I'm going to get some Parmesan cheese, too. And this is what um, is going to be stuffed in, in the manicotti shells. If you got a little blender, you can blend it if you want. But it's not much, so you can just stir it. The ricotta cheese stirs really easy. It's the um, cream cheese that doesn't stir real easy. I should put some cream cheese in here. They make it good. Anyways, um, let me get the um, Parmesan cheese. Cut my big old jar. Haley usually uses fresh cheese, fresh Parmesan, but we don't have any. So, <laughs> not making a mess. 
It doesn't come out very good. I guess I should have used the pour side. This is going to be delicious. I am going to try to put it in a little baggie and I'm going to cut the corner and try to squeeze it down in those shells. Let me check my shells. I don't know though. They're going to be hard to get open because they're cold or because they're hot. Because they're cold. A lot of times I usually slice them open and then, and then stuff them and fold it over. <laughs> open this other side and just dump some in. There we go. I don't want to taste test it because I put a raw egg in there. I should have taste test, taste, did it, put the egg in last so you can taste test it see how, how good it tastes. You know, you know if you need more seasonings or something. Right. I'm gonna put a little bit more garlic. Hopefully it's not too garlicky. All right, let me go get my baggie. I'm just going to use a small one. Um, let me see what I'm going to use. These noodles should be done. Alright. I'm going to use this. See how easy it's going to be to put it in here. Might not be too easy. But it's going to be a lot easier to squeeze them in them things if I put them in a, in a bag. All right, guys, so there it is. I'm going to zip this up, and I'm going to cut the bottom. I'm actually going to clean the top. It's nasty. <laughs> it's not really nasty, but it's all zipped up, and it's, it's ready to squeeze in. Hopefully, I'll be able to squeeze it. You know, if I just, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I might have did all that for nothing. What do you guys think? All right, so let me get rid of that. I need to find my glass pan, which I think is in here. Get the oven going. I think I'm gonna cook it at 400. Oh, that's a timer. Bake. All right. I'm gonna use a glass pan, but I'm gonna, I don't know, I always clean it before I use it. This is chipped. I wonder if I did this the last cooking video because I remember 
when I was washing it, um, it hit hard. There's a big chip in it. I mean, it's all right. I can still cook with it, but big chip in it. All right, there is the um, the dish. I'm gonna strain these. All right, guys, I got the noodles, the sauce. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. We'll see. Might waste a lot. It might be stuck in the bag. All right. So. Here we go. I'm going to make a mess. And cut me a corner. Let's see. There's a pair of scissors. I guess I could just probably open it from the top and have me a corner on the top. You think? Oh, no. That's not going to work because when I squeeze, I might bust it open. <laughs> Tell me if you guys ever done this. Cut yourself a corner. We'll see how it turns out. If it don't work, then I'll just do it differently. Oh, this one's already busted open. Dang it. Oh, wow. It works really good, though. It works really good. Dang. Let's see if we can do one that's not... That's... Oh, they're all busted open. Well, that one's busted open, too. Maybe I cooked them too long. That's okay. This one's not busted open, is it? Yes, it is. Oh well, we're gonna do it all busted open. Dang it. I don't think this would have worked anyways. I have a cookie mold that, that you put this stuff in and you squeeze it out it probably would have worked real good but the um pasta is um yeah this ain't working <laughs> i'm gonna just tried it and it didn't work for you darn this one was half cut open All right, I got I got to figure out another plan here, because this is not this is not working very well. See, they're all ripped open. So, I need to, I need to put them on a pan because they are they are definitely it's going to be too much in the too much in the in the bowl. Like the bowl is already filling up with water from the noodles. So I'm going to put them over here. Now, if this ain't happening to you, you don't have to change yours. Um, put them over here and um, start over here. I'll have to clean that pan. Okay. Yep, I'm just ripping them open because they're not um, they're not going to stay open. I don't know how they do it in the restaurants. I thought this would work. Anyways, we're making manicotti tonight. <laughs> I probably cooked the noodles too long is why they opened like that. It's kind of like lasagna, but you don't put everything that you put in the lasagna. Well, I mean, I'm putting the sauce around the outside. Yeah, I should have got rid of this water. 
then it wouldn't have been so so watery i put them back in cold water so they didn't cook no more and one more and boy do i have a mess <laughs> you guys see the table <laughs> it's not too bad All right, now I just got to get that glass pan clean, dried out. I guess it didn't really matter, but it's watery because I'm going to put sauce in it anyways. Probably didn't matter. All right. All right, guys, here we go. Just gonna line them up in the pan. I'm probably gonna line them sideways. Or maybe I'll line them long ways with um, some across the top. There's a lot of them here. I don't know how they're all gonna fit. Okay, two more. I'm just gonna pile them on top. I don't know what else to do with them. What a mess. <laughs> Put all this ricotta cheese in there. I'll just spread it around since I already have my hands a mess. I'm going to throw some seasonings on the top. Alright guys, manicotti. Let me know how you guys make it. Let me know, you know, do you, is this how you make it? Do you use a bigger pan? Do you make less? Do you add um, pepperonis? Some people add pepperonis in there. Some people add meat in theirs. Um, what seasons do you add? Do you add something that I didn't add that makes it really, really good? Um, let me know how you guys make it. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic salt on the top. A um, little bit of pepper on the top. I'm not putting a whole lot of spaghetti sauce on there. I think i um, just going to put some around if I can get this open. <laughs> this has probably been in the cabinet a while, but I think spaghetti sauce lasts a long time. Let's see. June of 25. It's good. Alright, so. Heavy duty chunk of something right there that I'm going to get rid of. Alright, so we're just going to pour some all the way around the edge. And then I guess I, I guess I need to pour it on the top too. Just a little bit. Maybe, well, it's a little bit more than a half a jar. That away, when it starts cooking, it will mix up really well. Okay, and I'm gonna put some more Parmesan on the top. So we can, we can save this for another, another meal of something else. Okay, so some Parmesan cheese on the top, and um, we're gonna throw it in the oven. I would say about 20 minutes. It might not even take 20 minutes. It just has to heat up, so I'm gonna do 20 minutes. Twenty minutes on 400. Now, I got it way jacked up on 445, but that's only because my stove don't work. I'm going to jack it down right now. 420 minutes. And I'll see you back in 20 minutes. All right, everyone. It just beeped. There it is. Manicotti. Yum. I'll see you at the dinner table. All right, everyone. Manicotti. Looks so delicious. Haley's over there scarfing. Is it good? Yeah. I wish there was more. 
bread sauce though. Oh, really? I could have put the whole pack in there, but. It was just that there's so much ricotta. Mm. And because it like fell apart a little bit. It's delicious. Oh my it's gosh. It's really good. Yeah. What is this? That's Tyler's piece of pie that I got him last night. Mmm. It's a little messy, but it's delicious. And it could have used a little bit more red sauce, but I like it the way it is. You want to sit down? No? Mmm. I was looking for bread or something. There's some bread in the freezer. If you want to grab a couple slices. I don't feel like doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to blow my nose. Really good. Okay. You feel better? Holy crap. I didn't even put Parmesan on top of it, but it's really good the way it is. Mmm. I'm glad I decided to make this. <laughs> How many of you guys like manicotti? It's kind of like lasagna, but really, I mean, it kind of is without all the pasta. It's just two slices of pasta. The top and bottom. You want some for lunch tomorrow, or you got lunch? I have stuff for lunch tomorrow. Oh, okay. Look. Oh, yum. That looks good. Is that dessert? Show the camera. Do I get one? If you want one. Oh, yummy. <laughs> I also bought... I'm going to make them right now. But... I'm going to take one to work tomorrow. Are you going to make them tonight? Yeah. Where'd you get them at? Publix? Publix. Oh. What's in them? Blue cheese? Bacon and cheddar cheese. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, those are good. I get those once in a while. Mm. But it's only enough for, you know, two people or, or one person. Mm. Alright, guys short video but i hope you enjoyed it i love you and i will see you guys soon bye